Another Monday, another risk for tornadoes. Meteorologist Joe Martucci here. We are tracking the potential for severe weather between 4 to 10 o'clock on our Monday here. One or two tornadoes will be possible. But here's the thing. Even one or two tornadoes impacts only a small amount of us. Many of us will be tornado free, if not all of us. But it is something to keep in mind. The risk is higher than usual here. Flooding rains in spots will be around as well. Because as we go into tonight, we have an extremely moist air mass in place here. So we take a look at our future cast. It's a 7 a.m. Cloud cover around. The more cloud cover, the lesser risk for severe weather. So we're rooting for those clouds as we go into our Monday here. But you start to see that rain creeping in from the west. This is with a warm front during the evening hours. And even though it's raining at 12 o'clock, I believe our severe threat will be over by then as the sun's been down for a couple of hours and our atmosphere stabilizes. But we'll still see rain as we go into the overnight hours. It does look like Tuesday morning, the rain lifts to the north and we see sunshine, but we can't rot an afternoon shower or storm. No severe weather with that one, though. If you do get into a tornado warning, the first thing you want to do is get inside a sturdy building or house. Let's use the house as the example here. You want to get away from walls and away from windows. So in this case, a closet is great here. Cover yourself with blankets or jackets to protect yourself from flying debris or get in the bathtub or shower here. That's also giving you some additional protection and get as low as possible. The smaller you are, the less of a target you are. And of course, if you have a basement, that is always the best place to be. We take a look at our numbers here, a high of 80 at the shore, 83 inland here with those strong storms again between 4 to 10 p.m. Before 4 o'clock, most of your day is dry, so this is not a washout of a day. You will have a good amount of dry time to do what you want. We take a look at your sea and sand forecast for your Monday here. 20%, we could say of your beach day could be wet, but that's going to be later in the day. A morning beach day is okay. It might not look the nicest, but it'll at least be okay here. Water temps in the 70s. We have a low risk for rip currents as well here. Monday night's low is going to be 70 to 73 degrees here. It's going to be muggy. We're going to have those storms and rain around for much of the night. Fog will be possible too as we go into early on Tuesday morning. And then here's a look at your inland seven-day forecast. So we have isolated PM storms on Tuesday here. Not a washout. We're talking 45 minutes of rain for you at most. Wednesday, AC Air Show looking amazing here. Lots of sunshine to go around. We carry the good times into Thursday. Friday, we're going to watch for severe weather as well. Still a little too early to give you exact details, but we are eyeing that. And then next weekend, notice our temperatures going up by Sunday here. We do look to get into a either very warm or hot pattern as we go into next week here. But it does look like the weekend's going to be a winner for both Saturday and Sunday. We're going to keep you updated on this severe weather risk as we go into the day. You can follow me at pressofac.com slash weather. We have all the details you need to know right there.